Uluru Statement from the Heart. We gathered at the 2017 National Constitution Convention, coming from all points of the southern sky, make this statement from the heart. Our Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander tribes were the first sovereign nations of the Australian continent and its adjacent islands and possessed it under our own laws and customs. This our ancestors did according to the reckoning of our culture from the creation, according to the common law from time immemorial and according to science more than 60,000 years ago. The Uluru Statement from the Heart is the most significant legal and political document of our time. That's an invitation to all Australian people to walk with us to enshrine a First Nations voice in the Constitution. This sovereignty is a spiritual notion, the ancestral tie between the land, our mother nature, and the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples. This link is the basis of the ownership of the soil, or better, of sovereignty. It has never been ceded or extinguished and coexists with the sovereignty of the Crown. With substantive constitutional change and structural reform, we believe this ancient sovereignty can shine through as a fuller expression of Australia's nationhood. In 2022, we still don't have a framework where Indigenous people are represented into our legal, legislative and constitutional processes. I don't think our histories are told and owned by the nation. We have some serious problems that have not been just historical. There's a, a worsening of the conditions. Proportionally, we are the most incarcerated people on the planet. We are not an innately criminal people. Our children are aliened from their families at unprecedented rate. This cannot be because we have no love for them. These dimensions of our crisis tell plainly the structural nature of our problem. So when we look at the voice from the heart and when we look at this statement, how can we not be moved to recognise its importance as we move into the next phase of our history and our maturity? Do you want this unfinished business to continue going on for the next generations to deal with? It is time now. We seek constitutional reforms to empower our people and take a rightful place in our own country. When we have the power over our destiny, our children will flourish. They'll walk in two worlds and their culture will be a gift to their country. I want people to really embrace what it is to live and to belong to a land which is recognised as the oldest continuous culture in the world. The invitation was strategically issued to you, the Australian people. It makes me feel hopeful. It makes us to, that there can be the potential to move beyond the injustice, the harm and the violence. For me, it's a document of a group of people who are expressing what 25 million others desire in their heart. Non-Indigenous communities that recognise this is something, it's a matter of fundamental justice. Everyone in Australia has been born into a system that is structurally racist. And what that means is it's a system that has denied Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander sovereignty. I'm not perhaps of left-wing persuasion. One might think someone saying this would be of. I'm, I'm quite the opposite. This is, this is an issue that cuts to the heart of the legitimacy of this country. So I feel that what we need to do is to rethink Australian law. And we should be able to do it because the common law is fundamentally at its heart an oral tradition. It is an intergenerational jurisprudence, so it passes across generations. Each generation adapts and changes the common law. It's not something that's come out of the clear blue sky overnight. This is something which has been formed and formulated and thought through for a very, very long time. It is time for us not to listen to those voices of division, but to listen to the voices of the heart, which is all about how we come together as Australians. It's important that the next generation of lawyers that we're training here take up that mandate to correct those deficiencies and build a nation that is not only a union of former British colonies, but is an inclusive one. This is a call to action. It's a call for responsibility. Just ask yourself, what will you do to answer the call that is in the Uluru Statement from the Heart. We seek a Makarata Commission to supervise a process of agreement making between governments and First Nations and truth-telling about our history. 
In 1967, we were counted. In 2017, we seek to be heard. We leave a base camp and start our trek across this vast country. We invite you to walk with us in a movement of the Australian people for a better future. From little things, big things grow. 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 From little things, big things grow.